10 Nollywood actors who died in the first half of 2023. Hello and welcome back to Sophia TV. If it's your first time stopping by here, you're welcome. Please consider subscribing. To do so, click on the red subscribe button below this video. Turn the bell icon for notification. Like and share this video. Thank you. Saint Obi Obina Nwafo, popularly known as Saint Obi, was a Nigerian actor, film producer, and film director. Saint Obi is known for his role in Candlelight, Goodbye, Tomorrow, Heart of Gold, Festival of Fire, Executive Crime, and Last Party. The legendary actor died on the 7th of May 2023. It was reported that he died after battling an undisclosed illness for several months with no successful treatment. Saint Obi passed on at the age of 57 after a protracted illness. His body was deposited at the morgue at the University of Just Teaching Hospital. Saint Obi was a favorite of many own video lovers in the late 90s and early 2000s before he suddenly stopped appearing in movies. He had featured in over 150 Nollywood movies before his demise. Peace, I am Osigwe. The news of her death broke the internet on the 9th of January 2023. She was a native of Imo State. She died at the age of 53 years at St. Nicholas Hospital, Lekki, Lagos, after battling a heart attack that led to her being in coma. The disease started the event in Yenogua in Bayelsa State on the 30th of May 2005. She was also notable for streaming Nollywood films at International Film Festival. Peace Anyam Osigwe received quite some honors before her death, including a member of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, MFR, by the Nigerian government for her contribution to the entertainment industry. Chief Sunday Akombi Akeola, popularly known as Baba Feni Kogbo, was a vegetarian in the Nollywood industry. He came into limelight after his role as Mogaji in the TV series Feni Kogbo, which aired on NTA Channel 7 in southwestern Nigeria in the 80s. The disease actor hailed from Ogun State. Baba Feni Kogbo died on the 9th of January 2023. He died the same day as Peace Anyam Osigwe, which raised concerns among Nigerians as the year was still fresh. Baba Feyi Kogbo reportedly died of kidney failure at the age of 80. Prior to his death, the actor had solicited for funds from the public in 2019. He noted that his role in the series had only given him fame without money. Femi Ogunrobi Femi Ogunrobi, popularly known as Papa Ajasku, there were controversies over the death of the actor, considering his character in Wale Adenuga's long-time series. However, it is important to clarify that Femi Ogunrobi is different from Richard Abiodu, the first and real Papa Ajasku. It is worthy of note that the deceased actor had only stood in as Papa Ajasku at the time in the life of the popular largest running series by Wale Adenuga's production. Femi Ogunrobi was a native of Abe Okuta in Ogun State. He rose to fame after taking over the character of Papa Jasku in 2005 when Richard Abiodu, the real Papa Jasku, pulled out of the show. Before his death, he was the director of studies at the Pencil Film and Television Center in Lagos. Favor Daniels Favor Daniels, also known as Omoge, died on the 5th of February 2023. The young, talented actress and skit maker passed on at the age of 26. After a boating accident, she made name for herself appearing on TV screen and also having her skits trend on social media, before death shutting her dream. Before her demise, Favor Daniels was regarded as one of the fastest rising actresses in Nigeria. Fadei Oloro. Fadei Oloro is one of Nollywood's vegetarian actors that died in 2023. The deceased actor is well known for his powerful incantations in Yoruba films. Not only incantations, but Fadei Oloro also styled himself to appear on TV screens with his face painted in black substance to fully make his character interesting in films. 
The Victorian actor's death was announced by his daughter, Kusongu Oluwafunke, on Tuesday, 7th March, 2023. Fadei Oloro died at the age of 66 after battling a terminal disease for years. He was a native of Igbara Odo in Ekiti State. He rose to fame after acting in the movie Arelu in the late 80s and also appearing in the movies like Inubibi, Anikel Lufa, and Akunimefa, amongst others. Murphy Afolabi, popular Yoruba actor Murphy Afolabi, died on the 13th of May 2023 after a tragic fall from his bathroom in his home in the Kurudu area of Lagos State. The actor had just celebrated his 49th birthday before his tragic death. Born on May 5th, 1974, Murphy Afolabi got into the movie industry in 2001. Prior to that, he had studied theatre art and film production at at the Oshun State Polytechnic, Ede, he appeared in over 60 movies before his death, including Ifa Olokun, Omoumi, Jimmy Bendel, Wasila Coded, Oloki Kioro, Idera, amongst others. Adedigba Mokaila. Adedigba Mokaila, also known by his stage name, Alafinoro, died on the 13th of May 2023. His death was announced by fellow actor Kunle Afford on his social media page. He wrote, Another library is burnt down today. A great philosopher, an icon with so much Yoruba knowledge, a lover of God, a laughing or a one. You departed this sinful world in the early hours of today. May your gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. Chikezie Uwazie the death of Nollywood actor Chikeze Uwaze was announced on the 15th May 2023. He died in the United States after undergoing brain surgery. His death was announced by colleague Obi Etok via her Instagram page on Sunday. She wrote, I can't imagine posting this. Chikeze Uwaze gone after his second brain surgery. Guinea Mezi. I am so shocked to get this news this evening. Just got this from our IMSU alumni platform. May so rest in peace. Amen. Don Brimo Uchebu. John Brimo Uchebu, otherwise known as Don Brimo, is dead. He died on the 15th June 2023. He passed on in his sleep. His demise was confirmed by one of his colleagues, Mr. Mayor Ofuebu who is also a well-known movie director in Nollywood. It was gathered that the actor fainted on a movie set in Portacourt in River State earlier in the week and was rushed to the hospital. He was said to have been diagnosed with high blood pressure and partial stroke. He was subsequently discharged from the hospital in Portacourt and moved to his hometown in Oka, Anambra State. Don Brimo hails from Anambra State and was born in 1956, but officially joined the film industry in, two, in the year 2000 and has acted in several Nollywood movies. May their gentle souls continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord, and may God give their family the fortitude to continue to bear this great loss. Amen. Guys, please say a word of prayer for them in the comment section. It is not easy to lose a loved one. It is not easy. And these people have contributed so much in the entertainment industry. They have contributed in making us smile in, in such a beautiful way. So please, let's say a word of prayer for them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my video to the very end. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you for your love and your support so far. If you've watched to this point and you are not subscribed to my channel, please take out a moment and subscribe to my channel. Subscription is absolutely free. To do so, click on the red subscribe button below this video. Turn the bell icon for notification. Like and share this video. Thank you. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.